Hey folks, Melinda Weaver here at Avondale United Methodist Church coming to you today with your Eastside Lifeline. Um, not gonna lie, today's been a bit of a struggle for me. Um, just feeling all the feels, all the anger, all the frustration, all the difficult emotions that I'm sure many of you are feeling as we wade through each and every day in this new reality that we find ourselves in. Um, been feeling a lot of things related to trying to figure out how to lead my congregation and my church in the midst of quarantine. Um, sad because we had our last homeless feeding today with our homeless friends and, and to be honest none of them showed up because they've had to go other places to find resources because things are so limited for them right now. But it still is just, it, it sucks. It sucks knowing that there's not much we can do right now. The best thing to do is to shelter in place. And I know that, that has been shouted loud and clear, but it's still hard. It's a feeling of, of helplessness, of wanting to, to do something. That's my nature, that's many of your natures as well. And just knowing that at this point, the best thing we can do is hunker down and wait it out. The best thing we can do is try to flatten the curve by, by staying at home. Angry and frustrated that some people think that we'll be up and running by Easter. Um, that some people think that our economy is more valuable than human lives at this point. And so today I'm, I'm pretty mad and I'm pretty angry and I'm struggling to, to find the light and the hope in the midst of it. But today's my day. I signed up for Wednesdays with my clergy sisters and here I am being real, being raw, being honest. The one thing that, that keeps me coming back though is that call to love others and love neighbors and to find ways to do that. Um, I got a call today from, from one of our local community people who wanted to know if they could use our gym to help sort some of the masks that are being made. Um, just two or three to come in to do that so that then these, these masks that, that are being made on a crazy good level of, of seamstresses and people that, that do that sort of thing. I don't even know how to put it into words or articulate it, but they're doing this with HEPA filters and things like that. They're wanting to use space to be able to sort those so that they can then get those to the medical people. Those things are what keep me going. Those things are what give me hope. The, the Meals on Wheels volunteers that keep coming to take meals and put them on people's doorsteps. Uh, the people that showed up to take food to, to families from our schools that, that need food. Uh, those type things are what give me hope in the midst of, of this uncertainty, in the midst of this craziness. And the place that I keep turning when I, I keep thinking about my faith and where God is in the midst of that, this is just, I keep going back to Psalm 121. That's the one that's resounding in my head today. That's the one that some of you may know. For me, I know it through the King James Version. Um, not always my favorite version of the Bible, but that's what I know a lot of the scriptures by, is that King James Version, because that's what I grew up on. That's how I cut my teeth and just the poetry of it. And so the thing that keeps resounding in my head is, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And that's what I have to remember today in the midst of, of the anger, in the midst of the frustration, to keep turning my eyes to the hills, to keep looking for God in the midst of the brokenness, to keep looking for God in the midst of the fear, to keep turning my eyes to the hills when I feel anxious, to take some deep breaths, to remember that in the midst of all of this, God is with us. God hears all our fears, all our frustration. God hears our cries. God feels our angers. God is with us through all of it. And even when I can't articulate things quite the way that I want to, that's where the Holy Spirit comes in with sighs too deep for words. And that's what I'm holding on to today. This is Melinda Weaver, Avondale United Methodist Church.